Kalakta Kanchan Nambiar, Malayalam, AA Micro AA Micro A Sha Micron A T Registered Trademark A Micro A Micro AA Three Quarters A Micron One Quarter, Kalay Plus or Minus Kan Nampua, was an early Malayalam language poet, performer, satirist, and the inventor of local art form Otam Tulung. He is often considered as the master of Malayalam satirist poetry. Kunchan Nambiar spent his early childhood at Kilika Rasimangalam, his boyhood at Kudamala and youth at Umbalapwatsa. In 1748 he moved to the court of King Marchanda Varma of Travancore Kingdom and later to the court of his successor Dharma Raja. He had already written several of his works before leaving Aluva. Scholars like Mani Madeva Kakya have the opinion that he and the Sanskrit poet Rama Parnirvada are the same. Nambiar's poetry lacks the high seriousness such as we find in its other can. The difference here is significant. The two are complementary. Just as Kalipachi seems to express the total personality of a writer like its other can, the Thalal brings out the characteristic features of the personality of Nambiar. Between them they cover the entire spectrum of humanity, the entire gamut of human emotions. No other Kalipachi has come anywhere near its other Khan's Ramayanam and Malabhoratam, no other Thalal composition is ever likely to equal the best of Nambiar's compositions. Literary career The chief contribution of Kunchan Nambiar is the popularization of a performing art known as Twilal. The word literally means dance, but under this name Nambiar devised a new style of verse narration with a little background music and dance-like swinging movement to wean the people away from the Kakya Kachu which was the art form popular till then. He used pure Malayalam as opposed to the stylized and Sanskritized Malayalam language of Kakya Kachu. He also adopted many elements from Padayani and Kolam Twil and certain other local folk arts. It is reasonable to assume that he was himself a Twil performer and writer. The first-hand knowledge of the various Talas and Ragas is a prerequisite for the writing of a Twil. Each Twil composition consists of a local Puranic tale retold in simple rhythmic verse, fit for loud recitation before an local audience. There are three kinds of Twil distinguished on the basis of the performer's costume and the style of rendering, viz, Otan, Sitankan and Parayan. Dravidian meters are used throughout although there is a quatrain in a Sanskrit meter. Kunchan Nambiar also developed new meters based on the vocal notation for various Talas. The language is predominantly Malayalam with a large admixture of colloquial and dialectal forms. Kunchan Nambiar is often considered as the master of Malayalam satirist poetry. Humor is invariably the dominant mood in his works, other bhavas are brought in for variety and to suit the situation. One of the oft-quoted lines from his poems are Nokada namud ma gukdakina ma kada niyanga mari kirda seda Poems Many of his verses are considered as proverbs of the language. 1. A shah micro a plus or minus a micro a micro a a a three quarters a squared unregistered trademark a micro unregistered trademark a cubed a a squared a micro a cubed a micro a cubed a paragraph a micron euro a squared a a registered trademark a plus or minus a a micro a a micro a registered trademark a micron a registered trademark a t micro a a micro a a micron a per mil a cubed a micro a cubed a a three quarters a squared a translation. How can a man forget habits that he acquired a young age? Closest English equivalent, old habits die hard, too. A micron euro a a micro a a a registered trademark a to the first a three quarters a paragraph a micro a sha degree a micro a a a t registered trademark a micro a a micro a a micro a a a a ya micro a ya translation, your dummy pistamum is magnificent and we too want our share of money. Closest English equivalent, when it is a question of money, everyone is of the same religion. 3. A registered trademark a micro a squared a micro a squared a micro a micron a registered trademark a micro a micron sha ya a a plus or minus a micro a plus or minus a micro a a a ya a micro a a micro a a a squared a micro a squared a a t micro a a per mil a micro a ya three quarters a a a micron a degree a micro a a translation the stone where the pollen of the jasmine falls also has its fragrance in one of his poems Kalan Alach the Kalam, Nambiar wonders how life would be if there were no death. He sees homes crowded with ever-shrinking, 
aged ancestors. Totodi Arpada is a poem that describes in witty detail how an army retreats from a losing battle. Extracts from Kunchan Nambiar's poems writings, Kunchan Nambiar is believed to have written over 40 total composition. Some scholars allot a larger number to his credit. They belong to all the three types, 21 Ottan, 11 Sitankan and 9 Parayan. The most important of Nambiar's Thalals are, Sumantakam, Goshetra, Kairatam, Santanago Perlam, Patrakaritam, Kartavaram Arijanavijayam, Bakavadam, Kaliana Saugantikam, Hara Nizwayambaram, Tripuridayanam and Sabapravsam. Nambiar was an extrovert and observed the life around very closely. He was also very critical of the social evils he saw around him. Thus even when the main story is from the Hindu Puranas, he would introduce digressions in plenty and use such occasions to comment on life in his own time. He did not worry about the charge of anachronism. He knew his audience very well, not scholars and poets, but laymen, especially soldiers, barely literates. In one of his works he says, it is impossible to entertain without laughter, those soldiers who think they should stay, if it is a comic tale, or else shouldn't leave the place. He is comparable to Chaucer and Rabelais for his boisterous humor and knowledge of contemporary life. Like them, he too borders on the absence at times, as a matter of concession to the audience or readers. All classes of people and all professions come in for sharp criticism in his compositions, Namdiras, Tamil Brahmins, Nayas, Courtiers, Courtesans. Nambiar is undoubtedly the greatest satirist in Malayalam. An example of how he introduced a satire on contemporary life into a text based on a Puranic episode may be found in the following passage from Karte via Arjuna Vijayam. Ravana is speaking to Narada about his own prowess that has reduced other kings to utter misery, the kingdom of the Gandharaka ruler, has turned into a mere desert. The land of the Simhala king, is now filled with lions and leopards. The lord of the Chera people, feeds himself on cheap vegetables. The Kola king has nothing to eat, except the maize of low quality, the kings of the Kuru house, have nothing but jackfruit seeds. The lord of the land of Kashmir, is busy eating cucumbers. The ruler of the champion land, eats only tubers and broken rice. The Konkan prince is about to die, thinking of his wife's breasts. After Ravana reaches Haya, his messengers announce that everybody should owe allegiance to him, Tributes must be paid from time to time. Half the yield should be given to me. The whole of pepper yield should be handed over, coconut, areconut, mango, jackfruit, all the trees should be confiscated. There will be no place in my country, for the pomp of local barons. Double the seed crop should be given, to me by Hujrana. The Tamil Brahmins staying here, should also give one-fourth to me. The Nayars who stay at home, should take their bows and spears, and stay at the residence of Ravana, and do whatever chores are assigned. Nayars who drink toddy, would be beaten up, beware. References External links, two poems by Nambiar, Kerala government site on Conjan Nambiar at the Wayback Machine, an active web forum based on Malila Soethium.